The season of Advent is a time for reflection and preparation. Reflection on our spiritual lives and priorities, but one of preparation for the coming season of Christmas. Advent traditions vary, but one tradition involves focusing on specific themes for the four Sundays of Advent and lighting a candle at the start of each new week in Advent. This year, I invite you to journey with me as I focus on four words for each Sunday in Advent. The words hope, peace, joy and love. What is hope? The diction he will tell you it is active anticipation. Hope is an optimistic state of mind that is based on an expectation of positive outcomes with respect to events and circumstances in your life or in the world. Perhaps the most fascinating thing about hope is when we need it in our lives. Hope may not be necessary when we are faced with an easy task. It comes only when we are faced with significant challenge. Hope requires belief Because without some belief in the possibility of getting toward a desired end, it's hard to make progress in life. For Christians, hope is also rooted in our faith and in the fact that we can rely on God as an additional source of strength. We are not solely dependent on our own resources. In the opening chapter of John's Gospel, we read, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Even in the darkest places, A candle or a small torch can make all the difference. It can be enough to calm our fears and help us discern a path before us. But hope must be rooted in reality. Some Christians live as if they were already in some sort of private heaven, having little concern for this world and its problems. They are redeemed and consider themselves separated from the challenges and complexities of this life. Other Christians are so passionately concerned to see the kingdom come on earth now that they lose sight of the eternal. We need both views at the same time to live in this real world, trying to make a positive difference, while at the same time being aware that we are passing through a world which is in transit. Christian faith is both this worldly and otherworldly. But the evidence of its integrity will be seen in our this worldly commitment. At the heart of Christian worship is the Eucharist, a celebration not of blind optimism, but a proclamation that Christian hope is grounded firmly in the life of Jesus Christ and in his incarnation, crucifixion, and resurrection. As I light the candle of hope, Think about the words sometimes said at Holy Communion. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. How do these words give you hope in the here and now and in the life that is to come?